A Queensland invention that tests the strength of a hamstring muscle has been snapped up by sporting clubs across the world. The machine is being used by American basketball teams and the English Premier League to predict when athletes may suffer injury. He's cramping up. In the world of elite sport, hamstring injuries are not only painful but costly too. It's the number one injury in AFL. It's the number one injury in soccer. It's number one or two injury in cricket. It's a number one, two or three injury in rugby. It's a situation Brisbane Lions forward Josh Green knows all too well. Drive up, kilo hips tight, hips tight, hips tight, pull, 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 pull. The Nord board device he's working on tests his hamstrings. It gives you a bit of confidence to know that you know the hamstring's strong and um, I've done the right work away from um, footy. It's the invention of QUT scientist Dr Tony Shield. Two hooks attached to load cells measure each hamstring strength. The results show the power and difference between the two legs and provide an indication of potential injury. But amongst those who are weak, they're four times more likely to be injured. It's taken five years to bring the invention to market. But the commercial production has relied on the private investment of two Brisbane men. Having a commercial outcome from a research project is about as good as you can get in that regard. It's now used by AFL clubs, the NFL and English Premier League teams. To have a player sitting on the sideline costs the clubs an enormous amount every year and hamstring strains cost millions of pounds per year in payments to players who can't play. A lucrative invention, potentially saving clubs millions. Leon Mellor, ABC News, Brisbane.